Yes, people, welcome back to the YouTube channel, man. I hope you guys are having a blessed day. And we are back with another Wonder Kid Dream 11 team that I'm sure you guys will love. But before we get into that, guys, make sure that you are hitting the like, comment, and subscribe. And once again, this does help the algorithm. I do appreciate all the help and support. This does really push out my videos. So let's try and get this video to 100 likes. And if we do that, maybe we'll do a versus mode between both of my Wonder Kid 11s and see what team dominates. And also make sure you are checking out the Discord and join in with the link in the description and the Patreon crew as well, man. But let's head over straight into my Wonder Kid 11 version two. So this was my first Wonder Kid 11 that we created over at Manchester United. If you wanna check the video out. So none of these players will feature in the second version of my Wonder Kid 11. So, I mean, it's only right if we were Manchester United here that we use Man City for the next team. So let's head over to Man City very quickly. A few moments later. And we have shot over to Man City and here we are with Man City. And now we need to create some sort of tactic. I think I'm going to go with the perfect 4-2-3-1 version 2 that just came out on the YouTube. Make sure you are checking out that video too. So straight away, we're just gonna go load in that tactic right now, and here it is, the perfect. Okay, finally found it, bruv. The perfect 4231 version two. Let's go. Okay, and here it is. We got super keeper on defend. We got two wing backs on support on the right and left, two ball playing defenders, a DM on defend, a segundo volante on support, and then an inverted winger on attack, an inside forward on attack an advanced playmaker on support, and then an advanced forward up front. So now it is time for me to build my team. I'm gonna sort out my goalkeeper and my wing backs and my defenders. We have made five signings and we signed our goalkeeper is Karnaseski. We signed our left back being Quinton Merlin. We signed Giorgio Scalvini to play center back. We signed Sue Tarlo to be his partner and Rico Lewis was actually in Man City's academy, so it is a free transfer over there. So in terms of Karnaseski, look at his current attributes right now. It looks very, very decent at this level. In terms of his hidden attributes, you know we gotta check this right now. He has a potential ability of 159, and he did cost me 9.5 million. In terms of our left back, we've got Quentin Merlin, AKA Merlin Magic. You lot know if you've been on the Twitch save, how many times I've signed this guy at left back, man. A very steady Eddie left back. He can play further up the pitch, but I ain't using him up there. I'm using him at left back to be a wing back on support or attack. In terms of his potential ability, he has a potential ability of 158 years, 20 years old, and is French. And he did cost me 14 million to get him to the blue side of Manchester. To Giorgio Scalvini, our first defender, he can double up and play in the defensive midfield spot as well, but I like using him at center back. He is 18 years old and look at his attributes at 18. Look at the mentality, look at the physicals and his technicals are decent as well. Potential ability of 157. And in terms of how much he's gonna cost you, he's gonna cost you a pretty penny. He will cost you about 40 million, 35 million, maybe 30 depending on what team you are, maybe 50 depending on what team you are as well. So anywhere between 30 to 50, but I'm telling you guys, this guy is worth that money, bro. Straight into his centre-back partner, and it is Josip Sutarlo. He has a potential ability of 163 in the game. Look at the mentals, bro. Look at his jumping reach of 16, heading 14. If you develop that heading, he's going to be a beast in terms of winning those aerial battles. He will cost you about 20 million, probably at most, maybe a 25, depending on what team you are. But very, very good centre-back, 22 years old. Then our right back is Rico Lewis, the English young right back for Man City right now in real life. 17 years old, potential ability of 145 in this save, current ability 128 and the mentals are very, very good. Physicals are decent and his technicals are good. You can also double him up to play inverted winger on the left. Time to sort out our midfield trio. So we need to sign a DM, we need to sign a Segundo Volante and we need to sign an advanced playmaker on support i know exactly who i'm going for in that advanced playmaker role and we have made our midfield trio signing so first up we got fantacati in that dm role then in the segundo volante role we have ravella and in the number 10 we have Ardegula. 
It's order the father, man. Big Arda Gula. I this year I tried to not use Arda Gula because everyone kept telling me about this guy. I didn't want to use him. Especially when I looked at his physicals and I was thinking, this guy's not really ready to play Premier League football. But bro, once I signed Arda Gula, I understood why everyone was talking about this guy. I did play him out on the right wing at times. Played him in the number 10 as well. Played him in the midfield. This guy is an absolute all-on football manager. Look at his potential ability of 171. He has actually signed for Real Madrid in real life. So you will not be able to use him next year until... You can loan him out maybe or Real Madrid don't use him and then you can buy him. He did cost me 9 million. Usually you can get him for less than 10 million pounds. And then we move into our DM pair and we have Fanti Catti, 17 years old, Italian. And he has a potential ability of 154. And look at the mentals, they're very decent. Physicals are decent as well and he's got some decent technical attributes. He will cost you about 6 million, so max probably about 8 million from Roma. A very, very good player at 17 years old and has room to develop. And we shoot over to his midfield partner, Nico Ravella, another Italian. We've got a lot of Italian players in this team. Currently, he has a potential ability of 159 in my save. Some decent mentals and some decent technicals. Obviously, he has got the passing, he has got the tackling, got the work rate, got the vision, got the teamwork. He's got some decent attributes, man. A fairly well-rounded defensive midfield player. He is 20 years old and he will cost you about 16 million, probably 20 at most. And now finally for my front three, I need to sign a right winger. I need to sign a left winger and an advanced forward, a striker who's going to score me some goals. And the front three signings have been made. We have Luca Romero on the right. We have Alberto Melerio on the left and we have Cali Muendo up front. It's going to check Luca Romero first and look at him right now at 17 years old. He is 5'5", five five, but he has potential ability of 153. Look at those mentals, look at the physicals are decent and a lot of technical attributes. He will cost you about 17.5 minutes or probably 20 at most. He did join Lazio on a free last season. Left winger, we have Alberto Melerio and this guy is a proper, proper gem. He will cost you about 5 million potential ability of 159 he can play in the 10 he can play on the right he can play in midfield but i prefer him on the left look at the technique look at the vision look at the off the ball movement flair determination is decent in terms of his physicals they're not too bad but they can develop he is only 18 years old and next up for my striker my big number nine we have super cali five foot nine Potential ability of 155. I can't lie, this team is kind of short now that I think about it. However, this guy is a bad man, bro. Up front for Crystal Palace, he done absolute bits. Him and Nelson Viper. I know Nelson Viper could have been a decent shot, but we've got Big Cali regardless, bro. He will cost you about 21 million as he moves to Rennes last season for 17 million. But a decent, decent player with a lot of room to grow. What? Fire! At 20 years old, the French international. And this is my Wonder Kid version 2 team. Let me know what team you think is better. And let me know if you want to see these teams face each other in a versus mode. We need to get to 100 likes and I will do that for you guys. But don't forget to hit that like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next YouTube video.